Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to work on printed letters in Hebrew. Uh, that's the font you see in red. Um, that's printed. It's like caps lock, I would say, in English. Uh, as where you see the font in uh, black is like a script. Uh, more scripted. Um, so you see the font in red, which is the printed version. More in uh, newspapers and books, uh, etc. Um, I have a different video for the script if you want to learn how to do that. So let's start. So in Hebrew there are 22 letters all together, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to write each and every one of them. So note that some of them are um, coded yellow, four of them to be exact, and then five of them are coded pink. The reason for that is some letters, such as let's say bet, so it has a version with a dot and it has a version without a dot. So the way we pronounce it is different. So it's going to be ba and va different, like b and v. Same thing with kaf. It has two letters because the way we pronounce it with a dot and without a dot, it's a different pronunciation. One is ka, one is cha. When we get to the letters, I'll explain more in depth. The letters that end with a pink um, ending, that means that the letter has a way, a form that we write it if it's in the end of a word. So say you have a word that ends with the letter mem, then you have to write it in this kind of form, only if this letter ends the word. So we have five of those. So we'll get there when we get to the actual letter. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Aleph. The way we write Aleph is we make a diagonal line and then we connect it at the top and then we connect it at the bottom. But note that there is space here and space here. It's not like an X. It's a line that the beginning goes here and there's space at the bottom and then the line goes down here and there's space on the top as well. Aleph. The sound that this makes is A ah in English. Let's practice some Alephs. Diagonal line, a little line going down and a little line going down. Again, a diagonal line, a line goes down here, a line goes down here, again. That's Aleph. Moving forward to the next letter. Next letter is Bet. Note that the bet has two versions. One is bet and one is vet. Like you're going to the vet and this is I bet something. I'm betting on something. So this makes the sound V. This makes the sound B. Okay, let's practice. So what you do is you make like half a square And then you go like a line that goes before the square, continues over the square, and goes forward again. You begin like to make a square. You start the line beforehand. You continue to the same length, and then you go a little bit more. So this is going to be bet, this is vet, bet, vet, bet, last one, vet. Going to the next letter. Next letter is gimel.
gmail the sound this makes is a g ga like go the way we write it is you make half a square like that we did in bet and then towards not from the top not from the corner but a little bit down we stick a line like an arrow but the arrow doesn't go say this is an arrow the arrow this the the line doesn't start from the from the corner it starts a little bit more down so you make half a square you go a little bit down from the corner and then you stick out a line gimel gimel going out to the next letter is dalid dalid the letter that this corresponds to is d like door so the way you make it is a little bit like a door you make a line now instead of making like a square from the corner you go a little bit in and then you draw it down so basically it's not even the halfway it's not at the beginning it's three quarters it's like a, a T but the the line doesn't go in the center it goes on the side Dalid. Next line. Next letter. Sorry. Next letter. Hey. Hey. The way we pronounce this is H. H. You make like half a square again, and then you make a line. Notice that we have a gap here and a gap here. This have to be open. So again, beginning of a square and then a line. Beginning of a square and then a line. Hey, next letter is Vav. Vav. The way this letter sounds is like V. Vav. So what you do is you make a small line and then you go down. It's like the number one but with a beginning, with a, with a little line at the beginning. Vav. Vav. Next letter is very similar to Vav. It's called Zain. Zain. The sound that this letter makes e is a Z. Z. So notice how with the Vav we started here and a little bit down. With the Zain, it goes more like a T, that it goes in the middle of the line. But we just tilt a little bit the line, and then we go down. Zain. 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 Next letter is Chet. Chet. Chet is like a box, just without the end of the box. It's like a square. Chet. Okay, so Chet is a letter that does not exist in the in the American alphabet. Um, it's a little bit between H and K. It's like uh, I said this in the, my other video in the script, but it's like when you want to clear your throat you make this sound of like like that so it's it's ha 
I also said in the other video, it's like in Russian they have the word Kharasho, which is Kha, and also in Arabic they have this letter, Kha, but it's more throaty than this one. This is more light, Kha. So the way we write it is like that. You make half a square again. A lot of letters are based in this half a square beginning. Um, and then you bring it down the line, half a square, and then you bring it down. Chet. Okay, next letter. Next letter is Tet. Tet. The sound that this letter makes it is a T. T in English. So the way we make this, it's like a upside down shape of a square, and then we just have a little line going diagonally in. So we start with a little line that goes in, we bring down the line, and then we bring it up. Again, little line, bring it down, and then bring it up. Tit. Next letter is Yud. Yud. The sound that this letter makes is a Y, like Ya. Or if it has Nikud, which is, I'm going to talk about it in a different video. Um, it's it could sound like an E or an I it depends on the dots that you ha you have on the bottom of this letter so the way we write it is a small line here and a small line here this goes halfway so I told you about the Vav beforehand pretend this is a notebook letter notebook line this is a Vav a yud is half of a vav. It's not all the way down, it's only halfway down. So it's a small letter. Yud. Okay, next letter is kaf. Kaf. This letter has another version without the dot, which is chaf. Kaf. Half. And then one more version is if this letter comes in the end of the word, then the way you finish it off is like that. So, kaf makes a sound as a k. Chaf makes the sound of a cha, like chet. Same same sound of cha. And this is the end of a of a word. So let's practice ka, kaf. This is like a door without without closing the box. Kaf. So this is kaf. Think about it as a door with a lock. So this is ka. This is cha. This is ka, this is cha. This is ka, this is cha. Oh, let's do this. Okay, this is the end. So you bring it up. Same thing at the beginning. But instead of bringing it in, you're going to go more down. This line goes beyond the lines of a notebook. So if this is a notebook and this is kaf, this is chaf, this is kaf sofit, sofit. Sofit means the end of. So kaf is the name of the letter, sofit is the end of it. So kaf sofit, this is kaf sofit. So we see it exi it's exceeding the line of a notebook. Next letter is lamed. Lamed. This makes the sound of la. Lamed. 
some people write this like this some people make it like a square it's up to you whatever is easier for you both are acceptable all right so we start with a line from top to bottom then we make a square lamid 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 the other version is we make a line we go down and we make it like a triangle looks like a thunder Lamid. They're both good. Next letter is Mem. So Mem makes the sound of M. Mem. Again, some people write it like this, some people write it like this. Both acceptable. I'm going to show you both ways. So this is more triangle, this is more like square. So you make almost a triangle, you don't finish it off. You leave space open and then you make a line over here. Again, you make almost like a square, uh, like a triangle, sorry, and then you stick out a, a piece over here. Again, almost like a triangle and then over here. Okay, this version is you make a line down and then you add the triangle to it. Both are good. Um, this letter also has an ending, mem sofit, which goes like a square, just a square. Mem. Sofit. If the word ends with this letter, you have to put this version. So, plain and simple, just a square. There's a line sticking out just a bit, just a tiny, tiny bit out. Next letter is Noon. And then we have Nun Sofit. Nun. And then Nun Sofit. This makes the sound of N. N. So the way we write Nun, just like you write Vav, you start it a little bit and then you go down a line like Vav, but then you're continuing it more. Again, little line going down and then continue. Little line going down and then continue. Little line going down, continue. Nun Sofit is same thing as we make this. We just continue down instead of to the side. So, Nun Sofit. Nun Sofit. Nun Sofit. Again, this line, it exceeds the line of a notebook, so if this is a notebook, this is a Nun, this is Nun Sofit. It goes lower than that. Next letter. Samech. Samech. Samech is like S. So this is very similar to um, mem sofit that we just did before. Just the mem sofit is like a square and this is a round. So this is mem sofit, if you remember. This is round. So it's similar to this, but more round. So the way we do this is just make a line and then you close it off. Not, not to the end of it, but a little bit before that. Again, a line and then close it close to the end. A line close to the end. Samech. Okay, next letter. Ein. Ein also means an I in Hebrew. Ein. Ein. It makes the sound of uh, A and E. 
So back in the day, this used to be a lot more throaty, like ein, not anymore. Now everybody pronounces it as like a or e. So the way we write it is, you make it a little bit like a noon, and then you add a peg over here at the side again. Like a noon, and then add a peg. I. So that's, this is a bad example, sorry. This line goes exactly to the to the um, to the middle of the square. Ein. Ein. Next letter. Next letter is pay. Okay, so this. This is pay. This letter has the two version, one with a dot, well, one without a dot. So the one with a dot is a pay. Makes the sound p. The one without a dot is fe. And it makes the sound of f. And this is a version of the end sofit, pay sofit. which means that if this letter comes in the end of a word, this is what you have to write this in this form. Okay, so we started with like half a square again, like we do for a lot of uh, different letters. And over here, you just bring it in again. Almost like a square, open door. You go a little bit in, there's two versions, to do like this or to do like that. You could choose whatever you like. This is more simple. This is more fancy. But it's all the same. You just go in. Pay. This is pay. This is fay. This is pay. This is fay. This is pay. And let's do one more. Fe. Let's do the, the last one, this the sofit. So you bring it all the way down and then you go in. You go all the way down and you go in. Again, this lines exceed the actual line of a notebook. So if this is a notebook, this is pay. This is pace of feet. See, it goes beyond the line. Pace of feet. Okay, next letter. Sorry, this is the marks from uh, the page. Tzadik. Tzadik, and for this we also have the version of the end of a tzadik. Tzadik. This is pronounced like T and Z together. So English doesn't have this sound. Um, I said this in my other video, so I'm gonna say the same example. Um, when you say pizza, so it's spelled with two Z's, we don't pronounce it as pizza, we say pizza. So the tsa, that's the sound of tzadik, tsa. This is tzadik sofit. Okay, so the way we make this is we're beginning to make a triangle and then we stick out uh, a little line over here again. The beginning of a triangle and then you add an extension. Beginning of a triangle and then you add an extension. Tzadik. Tzadik also means righteous in Hebrew. Okay, tzadik sofit is like a vertical line and then you add it in. 
It's like a mirroring Y. The other way of Y, just the, the opposite way. Tzadik, Tzadik Sofit. Okay, next letter is Kuf. Kuf. Kuf makes the sound of K. Just like the letter Kaf makes the K. Kuf. We write it is we make like uh, a beginning of a square and then we go down with a line. Beginning of, beginning of a square and then you go down with a line. Kuf. So this lines exceed the line of a notebook, so it's gonna be like this. Kuf. Kuf. See I made mine a little bit more curved. Not so, not so squarish. Um, it's more for the design. It's all the same. But if it's, this is like very, you know, boxy. This is more like a font that's more curved. But it's all the same. Kuf. Next letter is Reish. Reish. Makes the sound of R. So R in Hebrew, you pronounce it Ar. Ar. Reish. Reish. It's very close to French. R. They say resistance. R. R. And also, um, yeah, that's, I think that's the closest I can think of, like the French R. Um, the way we write it is the begin, beginning of a square. Two side squares. So we don't completing the square, we're just making one side of the square. Okay, two more letters. Uh, we have Shin. There's two versions. I'm going to show you both. So there's the square or the triangle. It's all the same. You could write this or that. Um, so Shin is like the letters that we have the dots inside, the Dagesh. So we have this specific this specific letter the dot does not go inside it goes on the top so we have shin and we have sin shin sin this sounds like s like star like sun like sunshine this sounds like shoes CH. Okay, so let's write it down. So you make like a square, and then you have this little like beginning where you begin it. You don't just make it like this. You could, but a lot of times we add this little line, and then this line comes from the left. Sheen. 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 Let's do scene. Same thing. So we just put the dot on the other side and that's going to make it a scene. So you could do also the triangle. Both of them are acceptable, both of them are good. Sheen, sin. Sheen, sin. Okay, last but not least is the last letter is tough. Like a tough cookie. Tough. That makes T. Also the letter tet also makes T. Okay, so the way we write it is we make a beginning of a square like a lot of letters. We bring it down. This is like a chet. But then we stick it out a little bit. Again, you make it like a reish, and then it becomes chet, and then it becomes tough. So again, beginning of a square, and then to the side, tough, 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 tough. So that's it. Um, let's have some words so we can practice on. 
Okay, so I have here um, seven words for you guys to practice to see if you could figure out what those words means or the way we pronounce it. Just I want to make a note that there is a thing called nikud. Nikud is when we put dots or symbols under a letter. So that gives it like a vowel. That gives it like a sound. Sorry, that gives it like a sound. So if we put a letter and then under it we put this symbol, that means it's a a. If we put a letter and we put this symbol under, that means it's a a. This sim this symbol with a dot under, it's a e. So let's say let's take the word um, the letter bit ba. This is gonna be ba. This is gonna be ba, and this is gonna be b. It's gonna look like this. Ba, ba, b. So I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to make a separate video for this. Uh, there's, a, I think, around nine, nine ways of uh, putting dots. Uh, we'll go over this. It's called nekudot. 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 We're going to go over this. But for this exercise, I wanted to um, explain it to you so you could figure out with this what this means. So let's go from the beginning. The first one is, you remember what, what this letter is? Dalid. So this is going to be like D. And then this is a Vav. Vav is like V. And then we have a dalit again, so it's D. Just mind uh, that Hebrew is from right to left, so it's going in this direction. All right, so now we write it. What does that mean? So dalit is a D. Let's write D. And then we have this sign, and it makes an A. So that's going to be D A da. Um. Sorry, my camera got cut off. Okay, let's continue. Um, so, D and then A. Then we have Vav, which is a V. So we're going to put a V. Then there's a dot at the bottom, which is a, like an E. So it's either E or I. And then a D again. So this letter, this word means David, which is David in English. The way we pronounce it in Hebrew is David, David, which is David. Okay, next letter is, does anybody remember what this is? This is Reish, Reish, R. And this is Tzadik Sofit. So this is a Tzadik normally looks like this because it came in the end of the letter of the word it has this ending so tz let's write it down so r and then we have this symbol which is like an a so r a and then we have tz let's say it rats Rats. Rats means to run. Next word. Okay. Who could remember what this is? Sheen. Sheen. Since the dot in, is on the right, it's a sh. C-H. And then this is a yud. It's either I or Y. And then reish. Reish is a R. So, SH. This has a dot, like a E or I. And then we have Yud. When Yud comes after a dot, so it's usually I. Even though the actual letter is like a Y. You remember how we said Yud is like a Ya? When it comes after a letter, it's like a E, like she. And then we have R. So, shir. Shir. Shir means 
a song. Moving forward, who remember what this is? Lamed, L. And this is a mem, M. And this is a hey, H. Okay, so let's write L. Then we have this symbol, which is an A. And then we have M. And then that symbol is for A. And then we have H. La ma. La ma. Lama means why. Why. Why are you going there? Why? Okay, number five. I wish you could pause this video and try to figure out for yourself and then see if you got it and then um, can compare notes. Okay, let's try. This is, who remembers? K. Kuf. K. This is Lamed, like we had before for the Lama. So we write K. And then we have this symbol, which is an A. And then we have an L. Kal. Kal. Kal means easy. Okay, next word. This should be easy for you because that's the first letter we learned. So that's an Aleph. Aleph. And this is Bet. B. And then another Aleph. Let's write it down. A. And A has the A sound, so it's like A. And then we have B. Oops. Okay. Uh, sorry. And then we have A again. Doesn't have anything at the bottom. So, A, Ba. Aba means dad. Last letter. Last word. Sorry. Okay. So, this is the last letter we learned. It's tough. So, it's T. And then Yud, which is usually a Y, but because it's after a dot, it's I. And then we have Kuf. T, I, K. Teak. Teak means a handbag. All right, everybody. I hope you did well. I wish you luck. This is the letters again. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. I wish you luck. All the best.